guy has never been consistent with his values, but this is a step in the right direction. See, I am not a political expert, but it does bother me when I feel like one politician is trying to take advantage of the people. Welcome to That's Just Tara. This is Melissa, Tara's mom. Today we're going to do an unusual reaction. You guys know that I do not make political reactions often. Perhaps, I think this is actually the second one that I do on YouTube. The first one was about the situation in Palestine. I think it was, it was so long ago. It was when everything had started. So today I'm going to make an exception and I'm going to do another one. But we're going to make it, we're going to try to make it as brief as possible. It's a very opinion-based reaction, okay? And it's nothing having to do with trying to damage somebody else's um, reputation. Remember, this video is only for entertainment purposes only. Let's go. I'm going to be reacting to an article that just came out from Good Morning America through ABC News. And let's go ahead and read it. It says here, the Biden administration is moving to reclassify marijuana as a less dangerous drug. Let's stop it right there. You know marijuana is not a drug. Marijuana is a plant. Let's keep going. Marking a historic shift, which is supported by the Drug en Enforcement Administration. Drug Enforcement Administration. Hmm. This would move marijuana from a, from a Schedule 1 classification alongside drugs like heroin and ecstasy to a Schedule 3 drug like ketamine and steroids, told ABC News. See, this is one of the things that raises red flags for me continuously from as a personal opinion when what I feel from the Biden administration. Um, let me tell you really quick, a little bit of a background when it comes to uh, my participation in the political world in the past. I do have a little bit of background when it comes to contributing a little bit. I'm gonna say right off the bat, I used to be a volunteer organizer for Bernie a few years ago, you know, when, when he was trying to become the president of the United States. And I remember when I was doing my research on everything that was happening, I found out that Joe had said that marijuana is a gateway drug. And so I was like, I wasn't, I didn't want to judge right away. And so I started trying to dive in a little deeper into his past. And that's when I discovered that he wasn't very consistent with his values. So that raised flags for me as a citizen. And so then I found out that in 2006, he had expressed that gay marriage was not the best and that marriage should be only between a man and a woman and that it should stay that way. Then later on, it's almost like he kind of like tried to go with the flow and he started years later defending them, defending the rights. And so that makes me think, why is this man not consistent yet he is still highly trusted? We already know that marijuana is not a drug. And the people have tried to educate others about marijuana and how it can accomplish betterment in the health of those who are suffering many diseases. And now, yes, I am going to admit, even though I have never consumed marijuana before in my whole entire life, I do know that it is absolutely not worse than alcohol. It is not even as dangerous as alcohol so my concern here is a lack of consistency and order of priorities why are we not trying to enforce more punishment towards drunk drivers let's punish more alcohol okay 
So, I don't know, it kind of like makes me feel that maybe he's just trying to go with the flow. To maybe, I am not saying that what I'm saying is what it goes, this is just an opinion. Maybe he's just trying to gain more votes so he can win again. So it's like, it makes other people say, oh yeah, um, I know this guy has never been consistent with his values, but this is a step in the right direction. I consider that dangerous. That's my opinion. But at the end of the day, you know, you're the one that, you know, is going to make the decision if you're going to go out to vote. Um, I, um, I used to be a very political person, but I discovered extremism from both Democrats and Republicans. And that's the moment that I said, this is it for me. But the reason why I decided to speak about this, it's because we have to clarify one thing. And that is that Biden is originally a pharma guy. Keep that in mind. And from my research, I could be wrong, but from my research, he was accepting payments he was linked directly, or he is still linked, I am not sure, to the pharma world. I am not sure if this is a deal that he is making with the pharma industry. But something tells me that he is going where the money is going. That doesn't make me feel comfortable. That really doesn't. So this is just my opinion, you know, just a regular reaction. My opinion, marijuana is not a dangerous drug, not a less dangerous drug. Marijuana is not even a drug. Marijuana is a plant. I think you should work more on controlling alcohol and nicotine because those are the ones that are really posing the worst risk. They're killing people and they are ruining homes. I personally don't feel comfortable with this whole thing. So I just wanted to throw it out there. And maybe some of you um, do agree with this. If you do agree with this, I will appreciate if um, you hit the like button. Maybe share it with one of your peers. Um, and um, hopefully I will see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.